Hello students, here in this video, I am going to discuss about the important topics to be focused to get a success in GATE 2025. As you know, the GATE exam is very soon. It is hardly two months. So in this time, where you have to focus on what topics you have to focus. As every one of us know, IIT Roorkee is conducting GATE 2025. And moreover, it is an important point, IIT Roorkee is an organizing committee, but GATE paper is prepared by IISC Bangalore along with seven old IITs. They will form a committee and the committee will prepare the GATE question paper. So don't fall into the false information that IIT Roorkee is conducting the GATE exam. It does not mean that only IIT Roorkee people are going to prepare the gate paper. But on demand of many students, I am going to explain you in previous years, IIT Roorkee conducted gate exam in 2009 and 2017. And from what topics questions were asked in 2009 and 2017, along with this, I am going to explain you most important topics and untapped areas where you have to focus. These things we are going to discuss in the video. Very first, I will start with the programming data structures and algorithm. Generally, people you called PDA. And PDA is one of the most weighted subject in gate computer science. You can look at gate 2009. There are totally 20 marks given from PDA and the 20 marks consisting of 8 2 marks questions and 4 1 marks questions and these are the topics from where questions were asked. Don't worry, I am going to share this PDF in the description. Please download it and refer it and that will be for your reference. And from these topics like recurrence relations, recursion, hashing, maximum height calculation of AVL tree, heap tree, heap tree, a linked question is given which is of 4 marks. Crucial algorithm, quick sort, selection sort, divide and conquer, Bellman Ford algorithm, longest common subsequences. In 2017, there are two sets of paper. In set 1, there is total of 19 marks from PDA and in set 2, there are total of 18 marks from PDA. In PDA, in set 2, total eight, 18 marks, 8 2 marks questions and one, 2 1 mark questions, totally 18 marks asked and these are the topics from where questions were asked. And when it comes to the PDA, the most expected topics from where you can expect the questions are tree traversals, hashing, stack applications, graph traversal, time complexities, master theorem, sorting, searching, shortest path, minimum cost spanning trees. And when you compare the previous papers of 2009 and 2017, we can see the regular kind of questions only came in PDA. Okay, it is mean not any special type of questions, not uh, different type of questions like untapped areas from where no questions were asked, all are regular kind of questions and PDA is one of the important subjects, you can focus on it. Next, I'll go ahead with database management system. In 2017, from DBMS, they asked 8 marks, in set 1, in set 2, again it is 8 marks. And Clearly, these 8 marks are from 5 different topics. But when you see these papers, the previous papers, the irreducible set, we also called a minimal set of functional dependencies. It is the question that was asked for the first time. In 2017, irreducible set is untapped area because in 2017, based on this irreducible set topic, no questions are given before 2017. And even multi-column subquery, division operator, safe query, these are all the new topics from where questions were asked. Fine. And one more important thing is, 
in both set 1 and set 2 most of the topics from where questions were asked are untapped areas and one of the good question which was asked is number of conflict serializable schedules and to solve this question you may take something 4 to 5 minutes of time when you are solving for the first time and this is a question which is totally untapped and to solve such questions you require much knowledge or in-depth knowledge of the concepts and in 2009 they have asked 10 marks from DBMS concepts are conflict serializability B plus tree insertion relational algebra nested queries normal forms and see so far B plus tree insertion there is only one question asked that too in 2009 before that after that on just insertion no questions were asked so by looking these two papers what I can suggest you is from DBMS there is a more scope is there for asking questions on untapped areas and here I am suggesting you some of the topics along with the topics that I have shown these are the topics from where you can expect the questions like checking functional dependencies additional FDs finding normal forms of the relations decomposition properties tuple relational calculus and deadlock handling and untapped areas here are equivalence of FDs because previously more questions were asked on untapped areas so I suggest you focus on untapped areas from the DBMS subject that is equivalence of FDs decomposing the relations timestamp based protocols checkpointing and B and B plus tree insertion and deletions B plus tree insertion one question was given in 2009 after that no question is given and you can expect different way of asking such questions possible on B plus tree insertion and deletion next we'll go ahead with theory of computation TOC subject for you in 2009 there are eight marks and they have asked questions like language to find from given grammar grammar is given and asked to find what is a language language finding from regular expressions some theory questions and automata conversions and mixed topic questions means it is not just one topics multiple topics are mixed one together and ask some questions find the language of the grammar problem solving on closure properties of CFL these are conventional questions only asked in TOC subject and uh, in 2017 there are seven marks and eight marks in two sets of papers and these are the topics from where questions were asked when you look for TOC we can say that seven to eight marks is guaranteed and along with the topics that I have shown here the sum of the topics that you have to focus on TOC subject is minimum state DFA CFL properties decidability languages finding epsilon NFAs and language identification and untapped areas are some regular expressions DCFL properties recursively enumerable language properties from where you can expect some questions in the gate 2025 next we'll go ahead with a compiler design in compiler design there are limited number of topics and from every topic most of the questions were already asked so you don't find much new kind of questions in compiler design from where questions were asked follow set static single assignment form derivation trees and faces and the match the following LR parses theory questions elimination of left recursion in gate 2009 there is only three marks that is faces of compiler match the following kind of question is given and one is syntax directed translation by looking these topics what we can understand from compiler you can expect regular type of questions but scope is there for untapped areas also but untapped areas it is not mean that it is completely different question from compiler design subject the questions are on the same topics but the way they may ask you may be different so expected topics are precedence and associativity of the operators ll of one parse table conflicting states and entries in lr parsers syntax directed definition live variable analysis from 2021 
onwards, live variable analysis topic was introduced. And from this topic, you can expect definitely one two mass question. And untapped areas are left factoring. So far, no question is given on left factoring. And how many variables are needed? Minimum variables are needed in three address code and optimization, some theoretical questions for one mark. These are the expected topics along with the topics I have shown. And these are some of the untapped areas. But focus on untapped areas also. Next, we'll go ahead with digital logic design. Digital is one of the beautiful subject and you can easily score the marks from digital logic. In 2017, there are four marks and in seven marks is given in set one and set two respectively. In 2009, it is four marks. Means you can expect a minimum of four marks from digital subjects and there are no much new questions you can expect. These are only the conventional kind of questions. If you follow the class notes of faculty, then you can able to solve the digital logic questions. So questions were asked on overflow, minimum number of NOR gates required when you're solving the Boolean expressions, T flip-flop, D flip-flops, and number systems, Boolean algebra simplification, K maps, counters. In 2019, question nine, questions are given on number system conversions, design using NOR logic. See, this topic is repeated, focus on it. And counters. When you look for the most expected topics along with the topics I have shown are complements, number system conversions, NAND NOR gates and multiplexes, counters, untapped areas are binary codes, decoders and registers. These are the topics from where you can expect it. questions focus on these topics. Next we'll see computer organization and computer organization is one of the beautiful subject and it is a challenging subject. And many of these students are going to skip the questions, but you should not skip because it is going to play an important role in your gate rank. That's why focus more on CYM. And in 2009 and 2017 papers, if you analyze it, questions were asked on cache memory, memory organization, pipeline organization, IO organization, computer arithmetic and magnetic hard disks. And the most expected topics this year is on addressing modes. When you look for the operating system, in 2009, 10 marks is given from the topics of RAM chip implementation, simple paging techniques, page replacement algorithms, disk scheduling algorithms, deadlocks, process state diagrams, inter-process synchronization, multi-level paging. In 2017, in set one, only four marks given. And in set two also only four marks given means compared to comparatively other years in 2017 some less weightage is given for operating system and these are the topics from where questions were asked when you look for the expected topics page replacement algorithm process scheduling algorithms disk scheduling algorithms inter process synchronization non contiguous MMTs process state diagrams, dual mode of operations by CPU and threads. When you look for the untapped areas, working set windows, overlays, operations on a process, classical examples of inter-process synchronization and inode implementation. And when you look for the computer networks in 2009, it is given eight marks as the weightage and totally four questions are given, four are two marks questions, four into two, eight marks. And these are the topics from where questions were asked. In 2017, it is six and six. And it is also one of the good weighted subject and TCP connection management, information security, CRC, information security, stop and wait protocols and routing algorithms, sockets, fragmentation and reassembly, Hamming code, network performance parameters. These are the topics from where questions were asked. According to me, it is my perception purely. I believe that the people who solve questions from computer networks are able to crack the gate exam easily. Because in my experience, I have seen, I'm telling you this because in my experience, I have seen many students, the people who are good at computer organization and computer networks in these two subjects, 
दोज पीपल आर गॉट वेरी गुड रैंक्स सो आई सजेस्ट यू डोंट गिव अप ऑफ दीज टू सब्जेक्ट फोकस मोर ऑन दीज सब्जेक्ट एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम ऑल्सो एंड सॉल्व ऑल द क्वेश्चन विच एवर इज गोइंग टू कम इन गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव सो दैट यू विल ऑल्सो बी वन ऑफ द रैंकर look at these are the expected topics from where you can expect a questions and these are the untapped areas and these are the untapped areas from where you can expect the questions then when you look for the discrete mathematics and most of the students neglect discrete mathematics but never neglect discrete mathematics and engineering mathematics because from discrete mathematics in 2017 10 marks 10 marks is very good weightage and in another set it is 8 marks and these are the topics from where questions were asked in 2009 it is 14 marks so means it is also going to play an important role in your gate rank so you can easily score marks from discrete mathematics and questions uh, asked from 2000 in 2009 in discrete mathematics is classification of algebraic structures chromatic numbers sum of degrees types of relations generators quantifiers logical equivalences these are the topics from where questions were asked and the expected and untapped areas we look at tautology is one of the important topic you can expect a questions tautology rules of inference multiple quantifiers recurrence relations generating functions sum of degrees theorems planar graphs graph coloring power set partial ordering lattices generators these are the topics you must focus because there is a more probabilities there to ask questions from these topics now finally not but not the least we'll go ahead with engineering mathematics most of the students neglect it but i never suggest you to neglect so focus on it give equal importance because easily you can score marks in engineering mathematics in gate 2009 you got 4 marks that is less weightage but in 2017 the situation was changed it is 8 and 10 marks and these are the topics from where questions were asked but it is the expert faculty of us the given information that these topics from these topics questions were asked but whatever the questions were asked it is not so easy the student who have in depth knowledge on multiple concepts they can able to solve it so means <coughs> questions are not straight forward questions questions are given on mixed topics right and uh, see this is one of the question which was asked in 2017 gave paper to solve such questions it requires the knowledge of multiple topics if you correlate all the topics you can able to answer such questions when you look for the expected topics the basic integration eigen values conditional probability limits and untapped areas are properties of symmetric related eigen values and eigen vectors from linear algebra lagrange, lagrange mean value theorem from calculus conditional probability are the untapped areas from where you can expect a questions okay so these are the subjects that are there in computer science engineering gate syllabus now i am going to talk about a simple strategy to be followed in these last few days means in this two months of duration what strategy to be followed to get a success in gate 2025 one thing i can definitely tell you this is a not time to refer your textbooks this is a time to solve more questions so means your preparation should be practice through questions so practice through questions means you have to solve more the questions by writing the test series test series is one of the important thing right you have to go take the test series and write one test in a day one test in a day so one test per day this is mandatory now whenever you are writing one test and do remember you should not guess no guess and the first and foremost bad qualities guessing 
you should not guess okay you should not guess if you know solve the question answer it if you don't know leave it instead of guessing it so you should not guess it and suppose let us say a test is for 25 marks and assuming the test consisting of 10 two marks questions and one one mark questions are five assuming there are 15 questions in that 15 questions assuming you are able to solve five questions you solved five questions what i suggest is you didn't solve 10 questions i suggest you put an error book just you keep one error book okay and in this error book what you write is from which topics you made a mistakes you write topic name in which you made a mistake and revise the topic and solve that unsolved question okay and any of your observations after revising the topics where you are missing or that observation you write as a short notes so that what you do in that one exam you didn't solve 10 questions it means in that day 10 topics are revised of that particular subject and this is to be repeated continuously it is not mean that you have to write only one test per day sometimes it depends on that depends on your capability you write two tests three tests but writing tests is important at this point of time and especially from January 1st at least January 1st you start writing full length mock test full length mock test why full length mock test because gate paper consisting of all subjects right it is not questions from only one particular subject only one particular topic so all subjects different concepts so that you have to train your brain such a way that in that three hours of a time your brain should switch to different subjects and different concepts at that point of time the concept to be recollected and apply the concept on the problem you have to solve it so all this should happen in three hours of a duration so that to do that you have to write one full length mock test minimum one full length mock test per day at least from january 1st and someday you write two tests someday you write one test full length mock test means it consisting of 65 questions if 65 questions are there assuming you you are able to solve only 20 questions you are not able to solve the remaining 45 questions it means that on the day you should revise these 45 concepts as i told you in the previous slide you put one error book in that error book you write topic names where you made a mistakes and revise the topics and solve all the unsolved questions right solve all the unsolved questions and your observations if any that you have to write and make sure that you should write minimum one full length test per day at least from january 1st according to me i can suggest you december 1st only the best time to start writing full length mock test suppose if you haven't started at least start from january 1st so when you write first test suppose you are able to solve 20 questions not able to solve 45 questions on that day 45 questions topics are revised and solved and your observations are written as a short notes in the second day again when you write a mock test of 65 questions definitely the number of questions you are able to solve are going to be increased let us say 21 questions only because most of the questions that are going to be appeared in the second test are maybe the concepts that you have revised in the previous topic so that what you do you have to solve this 44 questions 44 questions you have to list out 
revise the topics, solve and write a short notes and repeat this for minimum 30 days and put a target of writing 50 full length mock test, 50 full length mock test and this is important. If you write 50 full length mock tests so that every day you repeat this process of analyzing what topics you made a mistakes and revise those topics, solve the questions of the unsolved questions and short notes and repeat it, repeat it. After writing 49th test, you are going to write 50th test. When you are going to write 50th test, the number of questions that you are going to solve is going to be increased. This able to solve is going to be increased and not able to solve is going to be decreased. That gives you a motivation for you to crack gate 2025 easily. This is mandatory and without writing mock test and if you go blindly to the exam that hopefully may not work. So writing test is important. Okay. And hope this video is helpful for you and uh, whatever the content I have explained and whatever the data that we have collected from me and my expert team and those data is available for you for download in the description box. Please download it and use this information. Hope you have enjoyed the session. Thank you and moreover if you are, want to prepare for gate 2025 in a short time so far you haven't prepared our modules like quick revision course and previous year gate and ISRO questions pre-recorded lectures are helpful for you for cracking the gate exam and we also have the gate Hindi lectures which is available in pre-recorded mode use this lectures and listen those lectures in our native language means our Hindi bahasa mein aap padhai kijiye so that aapka padhai aasan ho jayega so thank you one and all for listening to this lecture and hope this information is useful thank you one and all